Praise the Lord and blessed be the name of the Lord God Most High, the King of all kings and the Lord of lords. Thanks be to God Almighty who was and is and is to come and who reigns forevermore, our King and our Lord and our Savior, our Master, uh, the God of all flesh, the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Great I Am, the I am that I am, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and of the God of Jacob. Thanks be to God for him being good in our lives, and his mercies has kept and preserved us, and his goodness will continue to endure forever in our lives. We are grateful for the gift of life this morning, and the preservation of our lives that God has once again, giving us life and the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. And this morning, we thank him for his love and his unconditional grace upon our lives. And once again, we are grateful for all what he has done for us this morning in the name of Jesus. So may the Lord favor you all and may the Lord bless you all as he has given us life this morning. I also take this opportunity to thank all of our members, our partners, and those that are supporting this ministry in so many ways. I thank you all last night for the uh, prayer meeting, the Shiloh Our Prayer Meeting on uh, Facebook and YouTube um, mm -hmm. last night. Uh, we are grateful for everything that God has done, and to God be the glory in the name of Jesus. This month, as God has given us this new month, he will do new things in our lives. And as he has begun to do new things in our lives in this man, he will take us to our place of possession. And we will possess our possession. And we will walk in the blessings of God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So the Lord bless you all for the uh, last night prayer meeting. And I give God glory for your lives. And I thank you for everything that you are doing in supporting this ministry. In Jesus' mighty name, God richly bless you. This morning, I continue the message that I started for this week uh, about trusting in God. And uh, I continue with the benefits of trusting in God. And today, the subtitle for the message under trusting in God is that trusting in God releases the message of God upon our lives. Trusting in God releases the mercy of God upon our lives. And we can find that in the book of Psalms. Psalms chapter 32, the verse number 11. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you all. Let's have a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you this morning for the gift of life once again and the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. And also we are grateful that you've given us the privilege and the opportunity to hear your word this morning. I pray that let your word exhort your people. Let your word revive, edify, and let your word comfort your people. Let your word empower and uplift us all and bring us to our place of new beginnings in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Father, for answered prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Psalm 32, the verse number 10 and 11. When we trust in God, the mercy of God is being released upon our lives. When we trust in God, the mercy of God is being manifested upon our lives. Trusting in God allows God to release his mercy. What is mercy? Mercy is exemption from judgment. Mercy is exemption from the punishment and the consequence of our sins. And so when we trust in God, God shows us mercy and delivers us from the hands of the wicked and from the things that even we have done that is contrary to the word of God. And I pray that mercy will be released upon our lives. In this new month, the mercy of God will be released upon us as we keep trusting him for him to show us mercy in all aspects and facets and dimensions of our life in Jesus' mighty name. So the Bible says that many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he that trusted in the Lord, mercy shall compass him about. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice in him, ye righteous, and shout for joy. All ye that are upright in heart. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. So this is the word of the Lord for us. The Bible says that 
those that walk in unrighteousness, which is the wicked. The Bible says that many sorrows shall be unto the wicked. I pray in the name of Jesus that anybody that has conspired any wicked and evil against you, may they fall into everlasting sorrow in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that many sorrows shall be to the wicked. It means that the wicked will walk in sorrow. The wicked, the unrighteous, the ungodly, they will walk in sorrow. But he that trusted in the Lord, mercy shall compass him about. People of God, this is the word of the Lord for us. God is saying prophetically to us this morning that the wicked shall walk in sorrow. But he that trusted in the Lord, mercy shall compass him around. What does it mean? It means that whosoever trusted in the Lord, whosoever puts his faith and is confident in the Lord, mercy shall be around him and mercy shall compass him around. That means that mercy shall be a shield around him. Mercy shall be released as a protection, as a hedge around that person. And I pray for you and I, because we trust in the Lord, because our trust is in God. The Bible says that some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but we will trust in the name of the Lord our God. And so as we trust in God and our faith is in God, God will release his mercy upon us. God will release his mercy over our families, mercy over our household, mercy over our loved ones, mercy over our business, mercy over our health, mercy over our marriages, mercy over our finances, mercy over the work of our hands, our going out and our coming in, and everything that concerns our life that pertains to life and godliness. Receive the, the power of mercy now upon your life. Receive the, the power of mercy upon your life in every area of your life that pertains to life and godliness. And the Bible says in the verse 11, that be glad in the Lord and be glad in the Lord and righteous. Ye righteous, and shout for joy, all ye that are upright. You see? So, whenever we trust in God, God releases his mercy upon us. And his mercy becomes a shield and a protection around us. And the Bible says that we should be glad in the Lord because we trust in God and rejoice in him. Whenever our trust is in God, it gives us the spirit of gladness. It gives us the spirit of re rejoicing in him it gives us the spirit of happiness and it gives us the spirit of the joy of the lord i pray in the name of jesus that may the spirit of gladness and the spirit of the lord god almighty be released upon you and may the joy of the lord which is our strength be released upon you as you come to the place of trusting in him hallelujah beloved when we trust in god we will become joyful in all things that we do and the spirit of trustworthiness in god releases the the oil of gladness i pray for you may you receive the oil of gladness upon your heart receive the oil of gladness in this day receive the oil of gladness in this month and receive the oil of gladness in this year in the name of jesus and the bible says that ye righteous and shout for joy all ye that are upright in heart. You see? So whenever we trust in God, God releases the spirit of righteousness upon us. And God releases the spirit of joy. Because we are walking in uprightness with God. And we trust in Him. Receive the grace and the spirit of righteousness. And receive the spirit of joy of the Lord in your heart. In every area of your life. As you continue to trust in God. In Jesus' mighty name, the Lord bless you, beloved. Share this word, spread this word, propagate this word, that this word will be a spiritual impartation and a blessing to as many people that receive it by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Heavenly Father, thank you for the power of your word this morning. Thank you for your word that has come up to us. That when we continue to trust in you, your mercy shall be released around us and your mercy shall be manifested in our lives. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will help us by your Holy Spirit, that we will continue in the place of trusting in you 
that the spirit of mercy and the power of mercy will be revealed and manifested upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, help us by your Holy Spirit that we will keep trusting in you and we will walk in the power of uprightness, knowing that for with you all things are possible. And as we continue to trust in you, let the oil of gladness, let the oil of favor, let the oil of, of, of the release of the power of God upon our lives be manifested in every area of our lives in the name of Jesus. I decree over the lives of your people that as they continue to trust you, let the oil of gladness that comes above all their fellows, let it be released upon them and let them continue to receive the blessings that comes with the power of trusting in you. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. Father, heal the sick, set the oppressed free. Those that are in captivity and chains and, and the shackles of the enemy, lose them and deliver them and bring them to their place of deliverance. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. Thank you, Father, for answered prayer. In Jesus' mighty name. Beloved, come to this place of revelation knowledge in Christ Jesus that when we trust in God, and put all our trust and faith in God. God releases the mercy of God upon our lives. And the oil of gladness is being released upon us in every dimension of our lives. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Samuel from House of Prayer for All Nations Ministries. Shalom. Peace from above.